with the best in comedy, BBC Two brings you Red Dwarf Night. 1988. Margaret Thatcher is Prime Minister. The last Emperor wins nine Oscars. The only way up is Britain's best-selling single, and on BBC Two, a brand new series starts. A series that features science fiction, but is funny. A series set in space, but without aliens. A series that has already been turned down three times by the BBC and then almost scuppered by a technician strike, but which finally hits the airways on 15th of February, 1988, the date on which comedy goes beyond the final frontier. The series is Red Dwarf. And tonight we salute the Jupiter Mining Corporation vessel and its valiant crew. Integrity, moral and physical courage, and total professionalism are just a handful of the characteristics that the Red Dwarf crew never possessed. All the more remarkable, then, that armed only with a low animal cunning, appallingly laundered underwear, and a great deal of lager, they survived their ten-year sojourn in deep space. Tonight, we go into orbit to celebrate Red Dwarf, its past and present, its origins, its future. So let's use the time drive and see just what the immediate future has in store. Starting next, it's Can't Smeg, Won't Smeg, as Ainsley Harriet teleports on board to demonstrate some haute cuisine in this special edition of Can't Cook, Won't Cook. At 9.30, it's Red Dwarf, The Smeg-Ups, a collection of cosmic cock-ups and ballistic blunders covering all 44 shows. At 10 o'clock, a very special edition of a very famous quiz, as fans battle with the Red Dwarf cast in Universe Challenge, chaired by Bamba Gascoigne. At 10.30, we open the Red Dwarf A to Z, as some of the show's more famous fans look at all things Dwarfian and choose their favorite moments from all seven series. And finally, at 11 o'clock, Red Dwarf Night ends with the episode which won the International Emmy for Outstanding Popular Arts Program and Best BBC Sitcom at the 1994 Comedy Awards Gunman of the Apocalypse. All this with a few surprise guests along the way make up Red Dwarf Night. But now, Red Dwarf can't smeg, won't smeg. BBC Two's Red Dwarf Night continues with the fans taking on the stars in Universe Challenge at 10, your definitive guide with the A to Z at 10.30, then the award-winning Gunman of the Apocalypse at 11. You wait till their curry comes back, mate. To avoid that, then BBC Two returns to Patrick Stewart. And now it's Red Dwarf The Smeg Ups, a collection of cosmic cock ups and ballistic blunders covering all 44 shows. The stars come out in force here on BBC Two for the Red Dwarf A to Z at 10.30, and then it's Yeehaw for the Gunman of the Apocalypse at 11. <whistles> Oh, blimey, Charlie. Don't let them distract you, Patrick. And now, a very special edition of a very famous quiz as fans battle with the Red Dwarf cast in Universe Challenge. The Emmy award-winning Gunman of the Apocalypse is the best way to round the evening off here on BBC Two in half an hour. Bless, it's just too emotional. Fortunately, Patrick Stewart's too much of a professional to let it get to him. And now we open the Red Dwarf A to Z, as some of the show's famous fans look at all things Dwarfian and share some of their favourite Red Dwarf moments. You can join Doug Naylor, creator of Red Dwarf, for a one-hour online chat forum this Monday at 7pm on the Beeb website at www.beeb.com. Oh, 
<laughs> well, whilst they change the nappies... Sounds lovely, that. Me and you can rejoin at Patrick Stewart. And now, bringing Red Dwarf Night to an end. The episode which won the International Emmy for Outstanding Popular Arts Programme and also Best BBC Sitcom at the 1994 Comedy Awards, Gunman of the Apocalypse. Thanks for watching, and until the 20th, goodbye. Mm.